the previous games now because he has been updated to the latest iteration versus Samus. Samus she, is still old Samus. Still, yeah, she's still the Samus from 64. Yeah. Our frame data might be changing, of course, but like, like yeah, I, I mean, said. To be fair, no character really gets totally reworked from game to game. Yeah. I think uh, Fox, Fox's fair is like the one thing that changed. It used to be different in 64. Oh, that's right. Yeah. It was, it was Sonic fair, in a sense. Well, except except using his head, he uses feet. Uh, I guess Ness getting a new up air is yeah, yeah, but like yeah, but that's, that's not that much. We're talking about a, a yeah. like Link went from having the Gale boomerang to a regular boomerang to being able to pick up his arrows to having to be having able to a use. grab instead of a tether. <laughs> exactly, like that's yeah. Link's probably the most reworked character between I, two Smash. I, I having a different up air helped him out a lot. Oh, yeah. oh my god, <laughs> just that All one right. move alone changed the game here. But we'll see what so, changes the game. So game number here. one. Yeah. Wario versus Samus. Now, I know YMCA, known for his DK, but he has been trying to transition into more of a Wario main. Yeah. As far as I'm aware. Because that character, because Wario's a good character. Yeah. <laughs> to, for, to unfortunately, be yeah. Yeah, to be DK's blunt, yeah. not that good of a character. I mean, we'll see what Wario can do against Samus here, because Samus' aim of the game here is to kind of make sure I keep Wario as far away as possible to avoid getting grabbed, to avoid getting uh, you know hit by Wario's aerials. But unfortunately, Samus' aerial game is not that fast. And that's something that Warlock could definitely punish against. Yeah, now, the thing is, it, if you're not 100% comfortable with your character, Samus is one of those characters that really punishes that, you know? Yeah. Uh, projectile characters in general, I feel like you can't always go a secondary for. Uh, just because, you know, you have to know your character's options to weave in and out and deal with the projectiles. Yeah. Sometimes you can get away with just playing like Palu or something because the kits are so good against zoners. Mm -hmm. But, you know, a character like Wario, it feels like you have to really know how to play to get into the zoners. Yeah. I mean, the one thing the zoners usually do have is like things like Ricker and Samus. Their weight allows them to be a perfect combo meet. But the biggest problem is like you, when you finally get that opportunity, you have to make sure your opening really counts. Yes, exactly. You have to have your punish game on point. Yeah, and like you said, right? You can't really go your secondaries against them for a good reason because you have to make sure your secondary is just as sharp as your main. Yeah, your opportunity, your few times you are able again has to count for so much. Yeah. Well, YMCA still looking for that in opportunity. Good backer out of the shield. Oracle off the stage here. I'm looking for YMCA's edge guard. I like the fact doesn't see the forward tilt opportunity and he backs off to try to see if he can punish Oracle on the landing here. Ooh, and Samus up smash covering the whole platform right there catches YMCA. YMCA looking kind of lost here. Oracle's doing a great job of just keeping the damage on. And I mentioned earlier, too, Oracle knows what the game plan is. Making sure that Wario doesn't get any of the aerials, any tilts, any opportunities that Wario would love to be in close range. Making sure that's a pep out of distance here. I feel like that was too much for the up smash, but I do appreciate that. Like, he wanted to see if Oracle was going to try to land with a directional air dodge or just line in general. Yeah. Nice. This is going to be definitely most... Yeah, a forward throw. Wait for the recovery here. I like it. Even takes the time to go for a forward air. But I like the play he had earlier. See, he knew once I wasn't going to get a ledge situation, I back off, wait for Oracle's landing. But unfortunately, that high commitment at that percent where he is between him and Oracle, two stocks, now down to one, he yeah. knows something's got to give at least one time. All right, so YMCA finally gets the F tilt, gets it down two stocks, and he does have waft, but the question is... Can he make good use of it because he still has another stock to take after that? Oh, yeah. I mean, definitely using the WAF will be enough to put YMCA at a huge, huge similar lead, I honestly. I feel like I want to see YMCA go for it right now. Yeah, and, and not enough get to the do sweet it. Spot. He actually reels back and says, ah, oh, man, like, he, know he, ha he knew he had it right there, and he just didn't get the confirm correctly. And yeah. That's kind of what we were saying is when you get your opening, you have to be 100% with yeah. it. You make sure it counts. Even then, though, that does bring YMCA to 114 against Oracle, and bringing oh. it out to even stocks, 41 and zero, and that's what I was talking. What, that's what we were kind of talking about, right? Too, if he has the waft, it at least puts it down to even stock, and that's what YMCA is looking for here in this game. One. Unfortunately for him, though, he doesn't need it to just bring it back to even. Waft is supposed to be a comeback mechanic. Yeah. And or it, it's kind of a snowball too. Like if you're doing enough damage, yeah. the waft adds on to that snowball, or it's a comeback mechanic. Um, but when it's still left to even, that's not necessarily a comeback made. Yeah. It's more like a, oh, man, here's my cash-up card. Yeah, like, that's like, 
the like Uno skip a turn when you have like fourteen <laughs> in your hand still. Like, it, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it put a band aid on the boo boo right yeah, there. Like, <laughs> like you you got a little bit of a time to catch up, but you're still like way down. They got three cards yeah. left. It, it ain't no it ain't no draw four change the color. Exactly. You know, it's more of a skip a turn. I forward air catches. YMCA's jump, he's at 150%. Hey, but you know what? Sorry, this skip a turn here really working out well for YMCA. Look at the, the percent deficit between him and Oracle. He had the ledge, but he missed the waff, and he was so close to and it. And that's twice. Yeah. That's twice. He missed the half waff. I'm pretty sure it would have killed right there yeah. if he got the confirmed down, but he, he doesn't get it. I, I still like the fact that YMCA worked for it. He knows what he's working for, and he yep. knew. I have Oracle at the ledge. I had my, I caught up, dude. Yep. Whatever zoning game Oracle had done was all for naught, and YMCA was making sure that it was going to be for naught. And unfortunately, now, missing that half walk. Now he is sticking to Wario. Yeah, I, I like I'm it. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad. glad too. He did, he did a really good job. He hypes himself up. He's back in the game here. I will say, if that game ended without him getting that waft, even though it didn't kill uh, the first one, I mean. I would like to see the DK, but as soon as he got that waft, he kind of got more comfortable with the Wario, got the momentum going. Yeah, he did. It, it's okay. And that's what I feel what, what was really working for YMC is that momentum swing to finally get it. Like, he knew his momentum was really low up against Oracle. Nice. Kind of a fake out jump in here, and he immediately gets the bat, the grab. All right, goes for the up air. Doesn't fire, but he still got the air dodge frame trap. And that's the classic Samus option from the ledge, man. You gotta understand at this point in the game, the way that Charlie has talked about it on Twitter, <laughs> the fun, the one thing Samus will always do is fair. But the one thing you have to respect is what Samus goes for Zare if you try to space her out. All right, the back here, YMCA doing a great job of keeping the lead here. Nera Shield just chasing the roll in, and now he's react or he's reserving himself to going onto the platforms. Says, you know what? I have a percent lead. Do something about it. Yeah. It's on you. Up air. Nice. He's looking for Oracle's landing. I like the opportunity, but Oracle understands. I gotta stall myself. If there's any momentum to be had and found, it's here in game two for YMCA, especially with how close game one went. All right, he's gotta watch himself on the comeback on the stage. Likes it. Goes for the high option. And with Samus committing to the up air, that was the back air from YMCA. Yeah, especially with the assistance of him hitting the bike, where it extends the hitbox, kind of extends the hit stun on the move. Uh, makes it so he's stuck in the air a little bit longer, and it's a yeah. free punish for YMCA. Low recovery, I like it. YMCA gonna go for the jump. Good opportunity. No, no forward. They're coming off Oracle. Oracle might have to change his game plan a little bit because YMCA is not falling to it. The one thing that Oracle kind of had the last few games is being able to call out YMCA for going for aerials. But the, the way that it's changed out, going for that fair at that situation with YMCA nowhere to be found. I and a backer gonna whiff for YMCA a punish with. A backer of Oracle's own is going to even out the stocks, but even still, the percent not too bad for YMC or for Oracle rather. Oh no, I don't like that up air. Sorry, that up special. The forward air. And that's still got Oracle at the ledge. Negative on shield. No charge shot online here for Oracle, and there's like the loss like confirmed. It. He finally gets that one. And he was well spaced to understand that you know what, Oracle is still at the corner. He wants to get out of disadvantage. And at that opportunity, YMC took the time to punish it with an up tilt. And right. I, we mentioned how Wario can be a snowball character. Look at how much that snowball is definitely rolling up against Oracle. 57% to two stocks on YMCA's 89%. Nice, saves that jump. Doesn't want to get hit by any of the projectiles. All right. Fair is just poking him off. I love Wario's Fair because it like it doesn't do a whole lot of knockback or something. It just looks funny. It's kind of annoying to get hit. It's, it's the way his his shoe is. The way the way his shoe his, is all his giant stretchy elf shoes. Yeah. <laughs> nasty pair of shoes for a nasty guy. Nice. He tried to he tried oh. to definitely read Oracle's jump recovery. Yeah, and Oracle shooting the charge shot the wrong way. Nice. He goes for the high recovery and then he's still able to land. Oh, too close to the dash tag. Close to the roll. I like it. He even takes the time oh, to talk. No. Uh, that was good because it was going to either cover up an opportunity for YMCA, and it definitely played out well in his favor. I nice and really good dash back. I all feeling himself a little bit after yeah. that one. Wave dash back down to into dash attack. Yeah. YMCA kind of cooking. 
And it all came down from game one, but he knew he had caught up to Oracle's game plan. He finally understood what Oracle was looking for, and finally he took that momentum that he was starting to get from game one, yeah. transferred it into game two. We'll see how it comes full circle for Oracle now. Yeah, I mean, if I'm Oracle, I won game one, but I'm not confident about how yeah, I won yeah, it. You know, definitely. he he got a lot of a lead when YMCA wasn't ready for yeah, it. But as soon as YMCA caught on, it was a little too, or it was too little too late to finish game one, but he had everything figured out for game number two. Oh, most and definitely. If Oracle can't change up the game plan, then it's looking like Karin's for him in game number three. Yeah, and the way that Oracle was winning game one, losing those stocks to YMCA, it was def game one was definitely Oracle's game to lose here. But we'll see how Oracle escapes the up tilt combos here because he's finally on the center platform looking for a way out. I like the fact that he's using the, the bomb ball to kind of still stall himself on the way back out. Yeah, and I feel like it's going back full circle to what we were talking about game one where your punish game has to be on point. And I feel like YMCA is finally, you know, warmed up on his Wario combo. Exactly. You know, and he now, didn't have it all down game one, but now he's getting these like 50, 60 percent up till up air combos. Yeah, and the way that game two is finally played out for YMCA definitely shows. Yeah. All right, but Talon say really good counter pick here for Oracle. Oh, that was so Super good for wide stage. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of platforms to work with at all times. I do like the fact that Oracle's trying to move in after each projectile. Oh, oh I, no. So I respect it too because the way that maybe YMC might have tried to stall himself with a bike, he might have been trying to catch it, but a little bit too much commitment on that one. Oracle still has another, another way to recovery, and I mentioned how I still love that he's using those bomb balls to kind of stall himself out. What a tricky play here, coming up with a sneaky backer after the bomb ball. Oh, oh no. no, the pushback from shooting the charge shot is going to cause Oracle to SD and YMCA. I even felt like he wasted his jump too. I feel like YMCA still can't be happy. He's glad the stock's gone, but like, you know, it, it doesn't feel as good. You have to be able to get in your own head and return the momentum to your to favor. Yeah. All right, Oracle gets the roll in. He's got center stage to himself, but unfortunately getting hit by YMCA. He's got to retreat back. I like the back air attempt. One too many fares on seeing out. Usually we would see Samus set up an opportunity on shield pressure to cause Wario to go for a jump out of the shield, and the forward air would be the right opportunity to catch him out of it. But I feel like Oracle is a little bit too trigger happy with it. But these back airs will definitely put YMCA at the corner. Nice. Jumps out, jumps right back in. He's looking, he knows, I want center stage, but I can't lose too much for it. YMC has got him at the corner. All right, Oracle has to kind of play the patient game, and I like it too, he understands. I'm pretty, I have YMC at 121, I'm at 82. I know I can get snowballed, so I have to be careful. Yeah, and Oracle, if oh, I'm no. Oracle, the biggest thing I want, if I'm Oracle, I'm not too worried about that because I, yeah, yeah, what yeah, I was yeah. going to say is I want I'm YMCA at high to burn that waft while I'm at high percent. Exactly. You know, yes, he lost his stock, but that means War Wario doesn't get to kill him at 15 on his last stock. Oh, dude, most definitely. Most definitely. And it, now that it's an even game, Oracle has the advantage here. Yeah, he does. This is where Oracle wants to be here. Great job for YMCA, though, running in with shield. He knows what Oracle oh. wants to do at the ledge. Sorry, at, at, the, at the corner. Yeah, a lot of spaghetti coming out from both of them, it feels like. I feel like those forwarders are a lot of spaghetti for Oracle. Like what, like I said earlier, you want to pressure your opponent. You want them to feel trapped to go for an out of, for a jump out of shield option and call them out with fair. But once you keep going for it like that, YMCA will definitely get accustomed to it. But he won't get accustomed to it that time. Missed the grab because YMCA was in a tech situation. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe if YMCA had teched it, he would have got grabbed. So go on him for not, I guess. Yeah. All right, up the ass shield. And that's got to be frustrating because, you know, he sees the projectile charging up. He wants to stop it. But then he jumps in, gets hit with up. He takes damage for it instead. It's a double-edged sword because you can't, you don't want to overcommit to stopping the charge. But yeah. now that Samus has it online, like, you have, you to, have respect to respect it. it. Nice. He, the bike is really good to have it out there, too, because it, it, it won't... Honestly, it'll absorb the shot. It's really good just have it out. Oh, that was nice. a scary situation. The morph bomb. By oh, oh, no. no. And in the middle of the pickup, Oracle finally makes the call out. I mentioned how good it was to have the bike there because it would have protected YMCA from the charge.